So today I will go give you a quick review of this little device for the plants and as well for this one. This as well kind of two different sort of uh, little devices. I bought them both so I can help my plants to survive the winter. Well, let's see how it went. Usually the winters are quite dark in place where I live and there's not much sunlight coming in in my room so definitely I was looking for some gadgets. So I bought these two gadgets. One this black like lamp for the plants specially designed and uh, another model here is a little different the round one and as well put for this plant. You see this looks much more alive than this one. This is lavender and I actually have no idea what is this green one but more or less uh, as you can see has some green leaves still. So today I just want to give you a review of this, how this works. I've been using this for a month. So will your plants survive with these lamps or not? Uh, so just to make my picture more clear, this is how dark this place actually is. There's like 12 looks and that's quite, quite not enough for any plants to survive for long term. And if I go to the window, if I go to the window, see, the daylight is much brighter and actually gives you quite nicer like this uh, level of light. Actually it's like outside it's even 2000 when it's not sun there. But if we speak about this, which I bought, well, you can see yourself. Actually gives you source of, some sort of light, but actually it's good. You can see it gives a 3000 plus something and then if you for example make it really close here so you can bring your light closer and get more looks, but this is not how it works. For example, this is a place where usually how far this plant probably will go far. So more or less also depends on the direction, but you could actually get something from the shady light outside. So this gives you some sort of light there. Okay, for this other one it's harder to show, but anyway you can get as well really high numbers, but the real numbers for the plant, sorry for the glare, as well depends. And further you go away, the less light you get and closer you get more light. So kind of depends, but you can see that this time so far you can get about 250 and getting closer more. So quite, quite similar output. So this didn't come with much of it. One actually came in a box and we got this instruction, this round one. Not much there, inside information, just like how to install it and what you get in the box, etc. As well, the cable length is about, I, was, I think it was like two meters or something like that. And as well, this comes with extension. So yeah, you can actually like extend this one, like if how much you need it. Comes with this little metal piece. Not sure how much it is actually good for rust and then, then uh, so you can like switch this one up and down how much you want and this is the black one this is longer one actually this is better because it spreads light from all directions at least it looks like so probably just feeling about this one as well same length of cable and then, then as well same functions both comes with this little like switch and there is like for the one is like turn on off then it's like you can set up timer and by the color it means what timer you have set up. This comes with two, four and eight hour switch. It means that you can change intensity. Something like that. Same as with the other one. Comes as well with switch but with more buttons. Looks more like complicated but still like power on and off. Then as well there is like option to change timer but this time you got like 4 hours, 8 hours and 12 hours and you can see the light just changes whichever setup you have. And then of course you can change intensity if you want. To be honest this is looks like more easier interface than the other one. So that's good part for this one. And they don't come with power source just with cable so you will need probably some little charger for this. I bought this on this room from Aliexpress the cheap one. Actually not very good one charger but I tested with other ones and same result. And one more thing you can check how much it consumes the power. Actually good to see and understand uh, how much light you can get out as well from this 
and then, then first we can try this one with the white one so let's turn on on the white one but first we can start with this one I'll just turn it on so far it's like 4.4 watts so this is like in maximum regime as well if you drop it for the lower like these levels it goes to about 1 watt and a little bit below it so you can actually regulate how much you want but 4.4 watts is not a lot for the plant so just you know let's try the other one and how much this consumes so 3 watts or, or, or I think it will go a little bit higher than that but more or less so I would say quite a lot less than uh, actually the previous one so this is the maximum you can as well lower this one it will drop the wattage here as you see Actually in the beginning this plant kind of started a little bit uh, giving little green leaves outside here and there and I kind of started to give hope that this does something good. And I must say that it probably does something good considering the low level light in my room but it's clearly not enough for the bigger plant like lavender so just you know. So if you want to like uh, help survive your bigger plants this will not work just saying you. Speaking about the other one, this one. Well, you see, at least it kind of looks alive, but still there are some leaves falling and it actually has reduced the size of the plant in this time. So I would say that this is as well not enough power for this one as well. As well. I don't see much new leaves coming there out. So I would say that this as well is not enough for my plant. And then and, and probably this is good for really small plants or I don't know what, but not for all plants. But overall, it actually has some good as well things. For example, kind of gives like a little light in your room and it's not very bright. So this is kind of good as well. Good for reading extra if you'll have like next something to read. It's really bright there. So there are some benefits. And for a little comparing the, how this plant looked before, like quite some time ago, and how it looks right now. A couple final words, well, overall this light is quite nice as well, this one uh, in case if you need some background light, but for the plants I would not say that this is the best light you can get there, of course it's cheap and maybe it will work for smaller plants, but for this big plant or uh, whatever else, bigger plants, it will not be good as well, it will probably just be good enough to help them survive or be like additional light if you have some light inside, but for example, if you live like in main room where it's really rather dark, this will not be good choice for you, you will need something stronger. So, well, it's up to you, of course, you can buy these ones, maybe you can combine these more than one, but uh, yeah, if you need these ones for the plants and you like your plants, then better buy some more powerful lamp, probably there are some available options on the internet. So, just a final words. Thanks for watching and goodbye.